All right, man, you ready? I guess so. Let's do this. We're back with another video. That's a new intro. I like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Welcome back to another video, guys. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the elephant in the room. Obviously, that's uh, 2021? Yep. 2020, yeah, 2021, Pan America that Jerry has, and you didn't even know what we were gonna talk about yet, right? No. <laughs> Pan America special. <laughs> I wanna talk about all the issues you've had with your bike, especially the number one, which is not even your, uh, it's not something that just happened to you like it's something that's very very known for these bikes already So I kind of wanted to like talk about it see how everyone's going about this because they are some aftermarket uh, Companies that are working on the fix ready for that mm -hmm. and adding different things. I've seen a lot of carbon fiber parts So with that being said the shields what, What's what's up with the shields fall literally the fall header off. pipe has two tabs on it with the, the heat shield where the bend is That's right above the pegs by your leg so what happened is one of the tabs snapped off so my dealership had a customer, it happened to a customer, so when I brought my bike in for service, they checked it, and of course, one was snapped, so it was only on by one. Mm -hmm. So they took the shield off, but they recommended I didn't ride it because you can burn your pants. Which you have Which I have into times. a pair of jeans and a pair of work pants, this size hole, yeah. and my pants are on fire. See this yeah. tab here? On the other side is was a, where this broken weld is, was a tab with the same little uh, screw clip on, and then the, the heat shield, the plastic heat shield bolted to this and covered this pipe. So this snapped off and it was dangling so they didn't want the other one to snap off. So I don't know if they're redesigning this pipe or they're just gonna send me one with a better weld. I'm like, this is my commuter bike. I use this bike every day to go to work. So you still don't have the shields on there? And I still Nothing. don't have the shield on. I just hang my foot like on the side and I try to- and Wait, I, wait, wait, hold on. So what did it tell you then? What's they ordered me a header pipe, but of course, it's on back order. The shield, not the header pipe. No, the whole header pipe they have to replace because the tab snapped off. Wow. We'll have to, uh, we'll put it on camera. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put it up right now so you, you can see. Because you can see, yeah. That's crazy. So, all right, so what I wanted to tell you is that I have seen some companies already doing I like- I saw V-Twin Visionary says one. I was yeah, gonna yeah. order it. I was thinking so about ordering it. There, there's carbon fiber parts for it if you want to go that route. And then yeah. they have different ones like like an alloy type of color, mm -hmm. uh, stainless steel. But it, that's the fix for that because it wasn't just you. Like even after it happened to you, I started just coming up across a lot of people. Well, that I was the, the second same guy at my dealership and then I, I've heard stuff online too. Mm. about the tab, the tab's um, breaking off or whatever, because they're like shitty little metal tabs or whatever. So what, uh, you did have some electrical problems too or no? I had, when I, they said it's because I left the bike on too long. Um, I had a bunch of codes. Like on, like just... What happens is the one day I had it on... Yeah, the power on. The power on, I had on accessory or whatever it was, or maybe I had it on regular. And I was trying to set the GPS and sync my phone and sync my communications and sync all stuff. So I was on it for a while, but I normally plug the bike into a tender every night. Right. I didn't. So like. But so you left the power on overnight? Is that what it was? Or? No. What happened is I guess I left it on too long. I put the bike in the garage and I didn't plug it in. So like three days later, four days later, when I went to start it, it wouldn't start. So I called the dealership and they said, well, um, we'll send somebody to get the bike or whatever, but it won't be for like a day or two. So in the meantime, I plugged it in. The next day it started, but then I had more codes and check engine light and oil light. So I'm like, what the hell? So then I shut it off and I left it plugged in and I was still waiting for them to come and get it. And then the next day it started up and I had nothing. I just had historic codes. So all the codes were gone because I guess being two days being on the trickle charger, it was fully charged. So it fixed itself or the, or It fixed what? itself. So all I did was clear the codes out. Oh, okay, well, I mean, that's, that was the And the fix. only other issue that I have and everybody still keeps talking about is the push, you push the button once and sometimes it'll start and then sometimes you push the button and it goes I remember. And then it won't start. So you gotta hold it down or you gotta hit it you again? You hit it again. Uh, like today, I started the bike. I don't let the bike warm up. I flip the switch and I go. No, it's, it's not like an electrical problem. It might be like, or... They said it's an ECM update or something like that. So it'll get like fixed. Like a flash. They have okay, they have okay. a fix for it already. Okay. All right. I mean, it's 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 a brand new bike. I mean, we, yeah, we, I mean, we know that with every new vehicle, whether it be in a car or a bike, 
there's always gonna be a lot of issues, little issues at first that, that they gotta, you know, find out and everything, little quirks here and there. Yeah. Um, but I mean, regardless, besides that, like you ever had any other issues, right? Nope. Such a phenomenal bike. Like he, even when, when, when he pulled it in, I'm like, I'm looking outside, I'm, I'm looking at this bike in the garage next to my road ladder, and I'm like, damn, that Pan America would look good in my garage. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. You have to trade the low rider S and... Yeah, I don't think I'm there yet. I don't think I'm there yet. So, yeah, I, I, and I'll still say it. This, this to me is the most beautiful adventure bike there is out there. I, I like the bike. I, I try to stick with Harley. I'm not straight up just like a Harley guy, even though I've had like 35, but I've also had other motorcycles. You can say that you're just a Harley guy. Not really. I mean, I go back and forth. I had Indian, I had Triumph, you yeah, know. but for the fast... At Kawasaki. Well, last year I had, yeah, I had a, a Harley. We're going to the Indian. The Indian, yeah, I had the Indian in 2020. In 2019, I had the Triumph. It's such a nice bike, man. Like, I, this is... I love it. The only thing I want to, I, I need a bigger windshield. I keep it all the way down because it really doesn't Do they work. have options for? They yeah, have like options they have that. one that covers all this crap. And it's darker. I might get the darker Ooh, shield. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, right now, it's all the way down. But, like, it darker, like, it fades from dark to light on top, which is all dark. It's like a, um, it's like the windshield on a, like that. Okay, I mean it's pretty dark, like yeah. smoked. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. I think. Yeah. yeah, and it comes all the way down here, and I think it's a little wider. I mean, it doesn't really, doesn't really do much anything. I just don't want it higher because then I start getting buffeting off my helmet. I'd rather keep it lower because then it goes over my helmet. And this is your, like your commuter bike right now, basically, because yeah. you told me your street glides already away for the summer. I mean, for the winter. Yeah, I tucked the street glide away. I got it. I got it all. It was a disaster. It was completely dirty and disgusting, and had rain because I rode it in the rain. You saw it. It looked like somebody, you know, cracked mud all over it or whatever. And then I had it cleaned and detailed, and I put it away. And I'm like, I'm not taking that out. I'll take the night train out if I have to. And, I'll, and this this thing's filthy. I haven't washed it since I bought it. I yeah, you could see. I could tell. You could tell. Like every time I see this guy, I'm like, why is your bike so dirty? Just I ride it just every day. It. Yeah, but wash every it every day. Wash it. Well, I hold it down. Like if we do this, get the salt or something. Like you know, in the winter, I probably definitely hose it. Are you gonna ride in the snow? Because I, I know with the other ones you can't ride in the snow because due to corrosion. But this bike is for all weather, all terrain. I mean the salt and the sand. We did last year on our other bikes. Are you gonna ride in the snow, not the salt? The snow. If it's snowing, I'm not going out. Now, no. you're, you're not even gonna try it one time just to see how it does? I would try it to see just just to see like how it handles I'd have everything. The right tires, maybe. I mean, maybe I would put it in like you know off road mode and try. Yeah, it. off road mode, and you should be fine. Because you put this thing in sport mode, you're gonna be no, nah, I forgot about it. You'll be on the ground. No, I think you should try it. If it yeah. I could try it one time. Any plans you have for uh, for the bike? I ordered the top box and the rack. I have the rack. I have the. the Everything's like on back order. The, Top boxes on back order. I have the actual rack, and I bought the backrest pad for my wife because my wife rid is ridden on the bike, but she feels she said the seat's comfortable, but she feels like she's gonna fall off. Don't forget who else is riding the back. You're riding on the back of the bike. Too. <laughs> it's pretty comfortable as but, a passenger. But you can't like with the top box. At least with the backrest, she can lean on something. Yeah. Not lean, lean on it, but not feel like she's yeah. gonna fall off. Like even with the bag on the back. She said, yeah, it feels better with the bag on the back, but she still feels like she's going to fall off. How about uh, the exhaust? I know we, we've been talking about exhaust for a while. I'm looking at the, the Vance and Heinz and the TBR. I'm not going to buy one by the Screaming Eagle one. And they got a, a, a Tope make, makes one as well. Yeah, too. I would, I'm leaning towards the TBR. The TBR sounds nice. But then again, I do I want a loud bike because all my other bikes are loud. It's not that loud though for this bike. Mm, it, it's just gonna, you know. I mean, this thing when you put it in it's, sport it's mode. It's not like putting a TBR on one of ours. When you put it in sport mode and you're pushing six, seven thousand RPMs, it's, it's kind of loud. Yeah. You know, just with a stock exhaust. And hot, right? Super hot. Oh, geez, like 230 degrees on that back then here. <laughs> you know, I get to sit in traffic on the way here, which nice. is not fun. So you've had the bike for how long now? August. Was right. it August or Only July? Like you, you end up getting it late. I think it was July you got it. July, July, July to me. All right, so August. a few, a few months. I have. So yeah, August, September, October. yeah, three, three months, four three months. months, three, yeah. four months. I got twenty. Would you, what, what do you say? This is like probably one of your favorite bikes ever of all time. Yeah. 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 Is, is it your favorite bike right now in your garage? No. The Street Glide is still number one. It's still number one. Okay. It's it's a hard it's a hard sell. I thought about getting rid of Street Glide. Yeah. And then I was like, what am I going to ride my wife on? You know, it's not really a, a two up. I mean, you could ride two up, but it's not. 
too up, even though the touring bikes, the suspensions suck and everything. So you definitely recommend it then? So anyone who's I would looking for it, up? it, yeah, especially if you want a Harley. I mean, I was thinking about a sports to rest, but that bike, it's got two, the two inches, not even two inches of suspension and the travel the, the bike rear. is too small for you. Oh, yeah, for me, yeah. Too small. It'd be perfect for you, probably. But even that, it's got the seats like a freaking, I mean. Yeah, forward controls and yeah, it's like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of forward controls nah, I'm either. Good. I'm good. So I used to be a fan of forward controls, not anymore. I, I'd rather look at this. And even at that price point, what were you going to pay for a Sports S compared to this? Is yeah, I'd no, rather have this. No hobbit. This is 150 horsepower. The other one's 121 or whatever. I mean, it, the torque's the same, 94 or whatever. But this thing, I mean, is phenomenal. The speed is just... I mean, I got a lot of work done to both my other bikes, but this thing is... Like, I mean, it hasn't even been out for a year, and there's a lot of companies already working on a lot of aftermarket parts, so I cannot wait to, like, let's say next time this year to see exactly what parts are out there, who's making what for it. Think about all the, all the reviews and, that are coming from this past week. Yeah. People love this bike. I mean... It's a love or hate thing, but it's also like a road glide. You either love it or you hate it. <laughs> yeah, I love my road glide. It's my, uh, it's my favorite bike now. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's going to be pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to touch base on those little issues. So if you do have a Pan America, have you had these issues? Mine and have you had any other, other issues, issues, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys have gone through. Um, and that's pretty much it, Jerry. Thank you so much. You guys haven't seen Jerry in a while, man. It's just... It's been a while, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Should have left you. But that without me. Step two. I'll get you the guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride. Oh, you so got it. Peace. Man.